In this short Excel video, I'm going to show you how to use the Excel int function or integer function to convert numbers that have decimals into simple integers or whole numbers. Let's get started. So here at the left, I have my original numbers. And over here on the right, I would like to turn those into integers or whole numbers. Before I do that though, I want to show you what happens when you don't use the int function or a similar function like the round function and instead choose to simply change the number formatting of a number. So many of you know that you can select a cell that has a number in it or even a range of cells. I'm going to click and drag all the way down to the bottom of my data to select that entire range and then you can go to the home tab and in the number group there's some options that we have to change the formatting of the numbers that are in the selected cells. So I can click this button here to reduce the number of decimal places that are visible. Each time I click that, fewer are visible. If I click the button next to it, to the left, more and more decimal places are visible. And you can keep going sometimes quite a long ways. Now there's a catch and a potential trap to using these buttons instead of a function like the int function or one of the round functions. So if you remove all of the numbers to the right of the decimal point, it looks like you've turned these numbers into integers, but you really have not. If you click on one of the cells that has a number in it, you can look here on the formula bar and the formula bar will show you the truth. This cell does not have 135.0 in it. Instead, it's got 135.231, etc. And that's important. If I were to add this number to this number to this number, it would not all add up as you would expect. Each of these decimal points and decimal places would get added up and would change the results. So if you don't want just an illusion, but you want actual numbers that are exactly integers, exactly whole numbers, one of the functions you might want to use is the int function. So here on cell D3, I've clicked and I'll type equals int. Excel gives us a tip that explains that the int function rounds a number down to the nearest integer. So this is always going to round down. I'll put in my left parenthesis and it's very simple. All Excel wants from us is the number and we could type the number or you could type the cell reference for the number like B3 or you could just click on it. In this case, I'm going to type B3. I probably should put in the right parenthesis, but you don't really have to. I'll tap enter on the keyboard and I get 135 and then I can click on cell D3 and then double click in the lower right corner of the cell and this formula that's in D3 is now copied and extended all the way down the spreadsheet. So even though these two numbers look identical, they're not. Take a look up here in the formula bar, you can see what's actually in each cell. And you can see the results down below are a little different than in this column, because in the case of column D, these original numbers have actually been rounded down to integers, or in other words, whole numbers. So that's pretty much all there is to the int function. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video, or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate you.